see that one. Yeah, that one. Okay. I'm Caleb Brooks with the HSAA Radio Network. I'm at Horseshoe Bend High School, joined by head volleyball coach, Coach Julie Turner. And hey, how are you? Doing good. And uh, Coach, you know, for you guys last year, um, it was a great year. 32-5 and five record. You know, you come up one game short of making it to state, but you only lose one senior off last year's team. How excited are you to see this year's team and to see what you guys can do? Um, we're excited. We've worked real hard this summer. We, um, Marty McCann is our athletic trainer, and he's come in and worked with us. And um, we are so excited to get the year started. They've worked hard in the weight room, and um, we've already started, you know, putting some, implementing some things into practice and getting ready for the upcoming season. And we're pretty excited. How easy does it make your job when you only lose one player and have a big group coming back? Um, it makes it a, a lot easier. Uh, the first year I was here, we lost one senior that year. Um, my niece played that year and we lost her and then last year we've only lost we lost Maggie Wood so we've only lost two seniors in two years so that makes it a lot easier when you have kids that are coming up and know your system and know what you expect and um, work hard and have a great work ethic you know that's something we can't teach as coaches is yeah. what they that's the parents have done a good job instilling that in their kids you know when you have two small classes like that you mm -hmm. always have a big class you were telling me about your junior class this yeah. year we'll have eight <laughs> members in the junior class will be eight seniors next year and uh you know you don't find that at big schools but to be right. at a school like horseshoe bend and have eight seniors next year that's going to be tough but you know you were telling me that group's been playing since their freshman mm -hmm. year so now entering year three i mean how impressed are you with that group and and the ability that they have out there that group is very competitive within itself, which helps on the court. Um, if if one of the girls wants a position the other one has, they work real hard for it, which makes it a lot easier on you. And their work ethic um, is probably one that I've never seen in a group of young ladies. Uh, they work really hard for what they want. And um, it's really easy when they're coming back. I'm expecting good things out of that group this year and also out of my seniors because my seniors have been with me for this is their third year. So I'm really excited to see what they all can put together. Yeah, and I mean, you know, for you now, you're going to finally have a group where they've been with you for a while. Mm -hmm. They understand, you know, your style, mm -hmm. what you're wanting to do. Are you kind of starting to see now that, you know, what you want in a program, that the program's starting to look like how you want it to be? Yes, it is. Um, I told the girls a couple weeks ago we played in a, a play date in uh, Clay Central, and we didn't play as well. And I said, I think my expectations are so high because I have seen what you got, girls have done that y'all got to live up to that. It's kind of like a target on your back. You've done so well. I mean, we have a 52 and 14 record in two years. Um, so we've lost 14 ball games over the past two years and with the same group of girls. So they have a big target on their back and um, we're going to just see what they can do. I think at first they were very young and so things didn't bother them as, more, as much. So I'm seeing now that they're older they want perfection and they're trying to look at things from a perf perfection sort of you know so to speak and it's kind of harder on them because yeah. they want everything to be just like it has always been and i told them it's not um last year we had a lot of adversity at the beginning of the season it was our second game i believe it was of the season um, it was our first match, but our second game, our setter went out with a ACL tear. Oh, wow. And so we had to bounce back from that. So they know how to bounce back. We'll just see how we can, the older we get. And my expectations are, like, really high for them. <laughs> That's what Lizzie with the LCD Outlook all the time, she's like, you're so hard on those girls and your expectations. I said, I know, Lizzie, I know. <laughs> and Lizzie does such a good job of covering athletics around here. And, yes, and, she does a know, great so job. A shout out to her. But, you know, it seems like in this area, volleyball has really just gotten better mm -hmm. and better. I mean, you look mm -hmm. down the road, Real Town just started a volleyball mm -hmm. program. You know, obviously Benjamin Russell's been pretty good for years, but right. Dave will starting to get better. You look mm -hmm. at what you guys have done over yeah. the last two years. What do you think it is about volleyball in this area that's really helped everybody step their game up? You know, I think sometimes we go through, like, ups and downs in, in sports world and it's just a girl's turn you know it's just the girl's turn to do something really good and I think across the county especially our girls are very athletic and um, you know they're working hard at what they're doing so I think that's just what it is it's just the girl's time to shine. You know, you guys started back in June uh, mm -hmm. doing summer workouts and, and summer practice. You know, you mentioned a couple of play days. What did you see from this year's group that really impressed you now carrying over from last year's momentum into this year? Their maturity. 
they have matured a lot in the get with the game. Um, they're actually seeing holes and situations where they should be putting the ball, and um, you know that's something that you can't teach. They've got to just pick up on it themselves, and so that aspect of it is pretty good. Our area that we need to focus on, like Ashley said in her interview, is our serve receive. Um, you can always work on that and always perfect that. So that's one of our weaknesses right now, but we've got plenty of time to work on that. Yeah, and I mean, you know, obviously you hear coaches say it all the time, but you don't want to be at your best at the beginning right. of the year. You want to be peaking there towards mm -hmm. the end. So right. as a coach, I mean, what are some of the things that you do with your team to make sure that you get that result that you are peaking later mm -hmm. in the season? We play a, a good bit of tournaments toward the beginning of the season, so we all know kind of what we need to work on. 